hi hope you guys are doing well so today we'll be doing this um, angel wing animation tutorial so uh, the wings method can be used for obviously for birds or anything else you know uh, so let's get started the first thing you need to do is download this image specifically this image because it can also act as a texture as well so uh, i'll leave a link to this in the description below then we'll also need a free software called inkscape inkscape it's basically illustrator and can also produce short svg files which will be really helpful for this tutorial and for a lot of other tutorials as well so uh, download it and install it it's pretty easy to use uh, i'll also leave a link to this in the description and finally define a uh, mail base mesh um, uh, this isn't exactly required because uh, the um, mail model is just you know, there for sure but you know if you actually want to follow through completely so download this as well i'll also leave a link to this one in the description below so first thing you need to do is open inkscape file import and import the uh, image click on path trace bitmap and the default rating is work as okay for this so click on okay and now you have this uh, line so delete the image because we don't need it and uh, this one is now a vector so it can also be used as an svg file right now so export it file save as and the extension should be .svg. Name it anything you want. I already saved it by naming it wings. So it should be a .svg. Okay. So close. We don't need this anymore. Now go to Blender. Click the default cube. File. Import. .svg. Desktop. Wings. Okay. So once it's imported, go to top view. Select it. Scale it a bit and then click on tab to go into the edit mode b to box light and delete one of the wings and then a to select it all and uh, this is the origin okay so we need this to be about here to the origin i think that's good enough uh, yeah that's good enough so you can also move it around but uh, i think this is good enough for now so now RX90 to move it in this direction and then click on object convert to mesh from curve text etc. Then click on tab to go into edit mode select uh, A to select all and then click on F to fill it completely. Okay so now that it's filled uh, we need to change its material we don't need that this one uh, we'll create a new material and turn it into an emission, uh, emission material and turn on bloom so um, we also need to do a, a few other things before we actually make the material so click on modifiers add modifier and the mirror modifier okay but because this is completely like flat we need it to be a little bit more thick so we're also going to add in this solidify modifier okay and the thickness should be 0 0.001 and i think that's appropriate enough and then let's go to uh, weight mint mode select this one gradient option click on the stop part of the wings and make sure that uh, the gradient doesn't follow through um, as in at least this shoulder portion of the wings should still remain dark blue because we don't want that portion to be weight mitted so select click over here and then start moving it and about oh, i think that's good enough so we are magnetically getting a gradient of it and now we are going to give it its material so first go into the shader tab add in and shift a image texture and then open the uh, image we downloaded uh, the ones with the wings okay. and now go into 3d viewport and we will go into into the uh, UV editor and then click on tab to go into edit mode for over here and now go to front view click on U and project from view so we are getting uh, this exact shape over here in uh, over here so select it all and then start scaling it and then move it to fit you know appropriately on the texture i think that looks good enough so 
I'm just going to close this and let's just see the ready. Yeah, this looks good enough for now. So now going to silent mode and now to animate them. So to animate them, we'll need the wave modifier uh, and the vertex group at the group that we created before. Okay, you can see it's already turning over here, and um, also the height reduce it to about 0 0.3. But if you like something like uh, this dynamic, then it should work for you. Then the speed 0 0.1 should work pretty nice, unless uh, of course that chasing or something, then you can increase the speed. But for now, as you can see, it actually works pretty well. It looks slow, but uh, because that's why, because the FPS is really slow, but in reality, it's actually pretty good. 0 0.1 was the same one I used for the uh, preview I showed you. So uh, for this was just for the uh, part of the wings. Now I'm going to uh, call in the base mesh so file. Import dot obj I know this mesh and I have this character over here so I'll just scale it down and three to move into side view and then I'll move the wings to its back. I think this looks good enough. Select the character and also change its material. From principal BSCF to emission strength to 5. I'll just go into the shader editor and uh, on noise texture, a uh, hue saturation node, saturation to value 2, color into color, and also need uh, a mapping node. And a texture coordinate node, object into the vector and vector into this vector, and uh, we also need an object. So I'll shift A, empty, plane axis, go back into the shader editor for the um, base mesh material, and set the empty as the object over here. So uh, now shift and click the uh, wings and select both of them. Okay, the base mesh and the wings, and click Control P to object. So this way, wherever I move the wings, the character also follows through. Remember, the character is just there for you know show the reality is we actually wanted to animate the wings. So now we also need a cube, shift A, mesh, cube, scale it by like 20 or something, and um, give it a material, give it a material as well. Go into the shader editor, remove the principal BSTF, and give it a principal volume volume into the volume and the density should be 0 0.1 select our light and change it to spot okay so um, I, think, I think it's already at the right place where we wanted it okay and uh, change the size to about 30 and um, select the camera rotation on x should be 90 on z 0 location on x and z 0 and then click on o to see our camera view and we're just going to move it a little bit up on the z about over here click on the wings and on the z axis change them to about 90 degrees and then also rotate them like about over here and then move it over here like this g and now let's click on rendered view to see Okay, so you're also getting that light. You can also change the uh, color of light to be bluish or something like that to give it more of a holy view, and also change the world to completely black. Okay, so now when I now we're going to add the keyframes. Click on the wings, go into its uh, transform plane, and on the location while having your mouse above it, click I to add in a keyframe. Change the end frame to 120 and then go to frame go, go to frame 120 as well. Go to frame 120. And then G to move it about over here. And then click on I again. And now when I play it, it's really, really slow because uh, there are a lot of factors affecting it but as you can see it's actually working pretty fine so let's check it in the render view
Uh, yes, this looks good enough. So I hope you guys learned something today. Please leave a like, subscribe to our channel, comment. See you next time. Goodbye.